So I just left Dr. Drake a message, and I, I just know that after one conversation, you will be stop, more than ready. Stop, stop, stop. Look, I, I don't have to talk to Robin's husband. I remember every single word Robin said at the nurse's ball. I remember all her courage when she stood up before everybody in Port Charles and said, I am HIV positive. She set such an example how to live with that condition with grace and how to live your life to the fullest. So I, I, I know, I believe the nurse's ball is such a worthy cause. But if you know that, then why won't you help? Are you really that wrapped up? Are you really so busy in this company? Or is lipstick really that much more important? No, I no, 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 of course not. You see, um, I'm sort of, I can't, I'm broke. Broke? How can you be broke? How can I be broke? Well, let me just explain some letters to you. I am broke because the IRS, the SEC, the FTC, the CIA, the FBI, and some sort of Department of Consumer Affairs has completely frozen my assets. What? Why? Why would they do that? Why? Well, because they're claiming that I am running a kind of pyramid scheme. Do you know they are actually calling me the Bernie Madoff of makeup? Well, so wait, th does this mean I won't be a golden duck? No! No, 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 no. Felix, you will be a golden duck. Keep the faith. I will clear my name. But you see, for now, the only checks I'm going to be writing are to my whole team of lawyers. Even though I really would love, love to fund the nurse's ball. I can't. Please, get on with your life. And just know that I'm saying all of this because of how much I truly love you. I always will. You're kidding, right? You think little Sabrina Sunshine is, is better for Patrick than me? That's what I said. The girl practically moons over him. You, you think that's how to have an adult relationship? By fantasizing about someone who's not even remotely interested in you? Wow, you want to talk about having an adult relationship? You purposely dangled your hotel key under Sabrina's nose just to make sure that she would know that you're hooking up with Patrick. I am not ashamed of my private life, unlike some people. I don't have a reason to hide. Oh, is that what you do? You attack people where they're most vulnerable. You know that Sabrina is shy and inexperienced, and so you are going to make her feel smaller than she already <sighs> does. I cannot control how Sabrina you feels treat about her herself. You like dirt. Until Patrick shows up, and then, of course, butter wouldn't melt in your mouth. Don't think you're fooling anyone. I had no idea I was being watched so closely. Oh, I don't have to. You're transparent. And if I can see right through you, so can Patrick. Patrick enjoys my company more every day. But he didn't call you tonight, did he? You were so concerned he's not interested in you. Did it ever occur to you that maybe Patrick is having a hard time moving on because the love of his life was killed in an accident less than a year ago? No? Well, let me tell you this. It sure as hell occurred to Sabrina. She gets him. She understands that he is still grieving for his dead wife. You don't know this man. You don't know what he survived. He's strong. You know, you have to save him. Perhaps there's something I can try. Okay, good. Thank you. Robert? Can you hear me? Listen. You've got to live, all right? Because giving up and dying is not an option. I'm gonna be here. You're gonna be here, too. I'm not gonna do this alone. I've known Patrick a long time, and I know that he would rather be with someone honest and genuine like Sabrina than spiteful and backstabbing like you. Hello, Patrick. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't text you back about decorating the tree. Oh, that's okay. Maybe another night? Actually, I was thinking if it's, um... Well, if it's not too late, if you wanted to come by for a drink. No, it's, it's not too late. I can come over. Okay, good. I'm here, so uh, I'll see you in a bit. See you. 
I'm sorry, you were saying? Instead of you being the first thing I think about when I wake up and the last thing I think about before I go to sleep, I'll be thinking about that baby. So yes, to answer your question, I do want to do this. for your time, Miss Co. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, please, please don't give up hope. You can't. You gotta keep looking for somebody to finance the nurse's ball. Really, I, and I'll be sending all my little positive thoughts right out to you. Well, if your assets thaw, will you give me a call? Yeah. You, you'll be the first I call. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, let me just give you my number then. Okay. Hmm. Coco's Red velvet cupcake. It would be perfect on your beautiful skin tone. Shut up. That's exactly what I made her up with before a breakfast meeting about the nurse's ball <laughs> with the man of her dreams. Your tree looks great. I guess you and Emma finished the decorating. Yeah, we did. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't text you about that. Oh, don't worry about it. Well, it's just... It's not that I didn't want to see you. It was just... When you said that the three of us would do it together, well, it reminded me of the things that we're not going to do as a family with Robin anymore because this is a first person to without her. Sake. Please, you don't need to explain. I assumed that was the reason. Thank you for understanding. How could I not? I'm just glad that you called. Like I said, this is my favorite time of year, and it's more fun to spend it with someone. I brought... Eggnog. Wow, and look at that. Bourbon. I'm the host. I'm supposed to be doing that for you. Uh, I oh, I also have a little something for Emma. Where is she? I put her down a little bit ago. She's probably fast asleep already. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping we could all watch this. Wow. Hey, Elizabeth. Did you lose something? Yeah, Christina comes home for Christmas. I bought a copy when I picked up this video game for Cameron, and the game's in the bag, but the movie's gone. How, how did you get your hands on this? Christina comes home for Christmas. This is one of my favorite movies. I tried to buy it online, and it sold out. How did you have some secret connection or something? Oh, well, I, mean, I can't reveal my sources. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just take mine? No, no, no. I can't, I can't do that. I no, can't. Uh, seriously. You and Emma can watch it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are you kidding me? This is one of the best black and white movies Hollywood ever made. This can't wait till tomorrow. I think we need to watch this tonight. <laughs> so this drug, it counteracts propofol? In theory, but I'm afraid I can't make any guarantees. Ellie? Yeah? Hey, th there's, there's something I want to talk to you about. I already know. You don't have to spell it out for me. Why, Timmy? the meeting go? Uh, two words. Epic fail. No. Lucy Coe was our last hope. Without her, there won't be a nurse's ball in 2013. It's that time again. Welcome, one and all, to the annual General Hospital Nurses Ball. Listen, I'm really glad that we slowed things down a little bit. That night in the hotel probably would have uh, ended that, badly for that me. Was, um, that was my fault. I, you were not ready. I appreciate you understanding. So here's to uh, Christina comes home for Christmas and a new start. I agree to that. Cheers. So what are we waiting for?
much as I'm dreading it, I have to go see Patrick. The least I could do is deliver the bad news in person. Wait. M maybe you should just go tomorrow. I think he has company tonight. You... You mean... I'm sorry. <laughs> just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. You know, Robert, he's too stubborn to die. He'll come through this like everything else with flying colors. I hope so. He was trying to say something. You know, before he lost consciousness, he was like really fighting to say something. I know it was important. Robert, what were you trying to tell me? What's going on? Shh. What am I doing here? Wait. I'm so sorry to disturb you, but with Faison captured, I was unsure how to proceed. Under the circumstances, I thought it best to bring her to you. Well, you did the right thing. I believe you know the way out, Doctor. Who are you? After all this trouble, you wind up with good old me. What did we used to call you again? Uh, fun one? Bobby? No, no, it's kind of too boring. Didn't we have a nickname for you? Can't remember. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah. There are more interesting questions to ponder. Like, what the devil am I going to do with you? 